Hey everybody, welcome to another awesome Photoshop CS6 tutorial where I'm your host Buddy Blackford and today I'm going to go over a, a uh, selection tool but it's not actually within the uh, tools over here it's up within the select menu and it's called color range so what we're going to do is be selecting by color range and uh, this is useful when you need to um, just get certain things out that um, just aren't that easy to remove. <clears throat> so one thing that we've got here is um, th these different color splotches that are within my letters here that I've got going on. And the, the uh, client doesn't want these letters to be uh, this kind of yellow, he wants them to be a different color. So what we're going to do is select by this color range and then we'll be able to change the color of, um, of that. So we're going to use our eyedropper tool here that's selected over here and we're going to select that color and we can see down here in our selection that we have just the um, that color selected. I'm going to hit OK and we can see that that color is selected. Now I can change that color here by maybe going to the, a blue or something like that. And then if you hold down Alt and hit Backspace you can fill in the selected color with whatever color that you uh, want. So you pick your color over here in the color picker and then you hold Alt and press Backspace to fill up your selection with the co fill color that you have picked. Now we can see that um, it has gotten most of the color but some of it not so much. So we have to adjust the color range key here. So I'm going to step backwards and try to fix our range that's going on here. Let me zoom in so I can see what's going on. And it just looks like that our selections aren't wide enough. So what we want to do now is come over to select and we're going to come to uh, grow. And that puts our pixels of our selection out a little bit more and selects everything that we have going on as you can see. So um, what I did was select and then I went to grow and it grew out the selection by a little bit and it selects everything. So now if I hit alt backspace to fill this in now we don't have as much yellow. Now I could come in and uh, fix some of this stuff that's to uh, that has some yellow in it but overall for the most part I got everything. I mean there's this piece here you can just come in and like manually come in and fix these but for the most part we have got our color selected and changed so uh, that's how you use your color range selector um, you could also use it to just take out like the the white or something like that so I select this I take out the white or select the white hit OK and notice that the insides of the letters are selected unlike when you use the magic uh, wand tool. I hit delete here and now everything is deleted out. Now you don't have to come in with the magic wand tool and select the insides of these letters. So that's a little bit quicker way than using just the uh, magic wand tool. So there's more than uh, one way to do things. So Think, just think of all the tools you have and think of what you can use to help get you done, help get stuff done quickly. So I might as well go over some of the um, different options that are in the color range tool. We've got our select the type of colors we have here. If you want to use the eyedropper to click on th things, um, use the sample colors. And um, you click on this and then there's a drop down. You can pick reds, yellows, whatever. Then we got highlights, midtones, and shadows that you can pick, and then you got skin tones to help you uh, select things in like the face or something like that. So um, when when you have skin skin tones, if you click on detect faces, 
and then uh, start picking the colors from the skin tones it'll help you get a uh, better um, skin tone selection and that's new in CS6 so let's just go to uh, sample colors here and we'll go over the different things in here because you probably mostly use the sample colors so go to this localized color clusters here and what that does is it constrains your uh, selection to a specific area and if I have that selected I use this uh, range slider here to select the different um, areas so what I did is I selected this white from up here and it's selecting the certain area off the white but if I move the range it's not selecting as much so um, just use that as a like Let's try it. We'll we'll try it, and I'll hit delete, and I'll show you what it what it did. So it kind of like feathered it off and faded it off, but it didn't completely make everything um, transparent. So it didn't completely de delete out everything. So let me uh, go back. Let's go to color range again, and um, take off the tech faces. We don't need that, and uh, we'll take off the localized color clusters. Now the fussiness here um, just it increases or decreases the uh, color value selected. So um, if you move back, move it to the left, um, it'll decrease. And if you move it to the, if you move it to the right, it'll decrease. If you move it to the left, it'll increase the um, basically the hardness of your selection. We've got selection and image down here, and these are pretty self-explanatory. Your selection is going to display what you have selected, um, and the image is going to just display your entire image going in. And selection preview, you can uh, you can change the different ways you see the selection up here. So there's black matte, there's grayscale, but there's none. So that's uh, pretty much all there is. Um, you want to invert, there's the button there. If you want to add to your different selections, so if I wanted to select the white and the blues and hit OK, it's going to select the blues and whites. And since I had the localized colors on when I selected this one, it only selected within the area. But let me go back again. I want to select white and I want to select uh, blue. I'll hit OK. And now it has selected the whites and the blues. So if I delete it, now it's just the black colors. So that's how the uh, color range selector works. Very useful tool. And uh, if you remember that it's up there within the uh, select color range, you're going to be able to uh, mask out a bunch of different colors that you would want to uh, otherwise have a hard time getting at. So thanks for watching this one. A little bit more lengthy, but it's a good tool to know and know through and through. So. See you guys later on the next tutorial. Subscribe if you want to see more Photoshop and like the video if you thought it was a good video. So see you guys in the next one.